to find the value of this expression. So basically, there is a trick to solve these type of questions. We, we cannot find alpha and beta separately. And if we will try to simplify this thing, it will take too much of time. So that we can do from the actual equation itself. Can I not put in place of x, we can put alpha. So this is alpha square minus 2023 alpha minus 2 that is equal to 0. So can I multiply on both the sides of this equation by alpha raised to the power 8. Now we have to find the value of this expression over here. So what we can do? So therefore this is the answer 2023 divided by 1011.5. Hello everybody. So over here we are being given with a quadratic equation and this expression is given a n is equal to alpha raised to the power n minus beta raised to the power n where alpha and beta are the roots of this quadratic equation. So we have to find the value of this expression. So if you will try to actually find the values of alpha and beta and you'll try to put it over here, it will waste your time. Maybe you'll be able to do it, but it will take too much of time. So basically there is a trick to solve these type of questions. So let's start doing it. So the very first thing is you have to see what we have to actually find. You see a n is equal to alpha raised to the power n minus beta raised to the power n. This is given to us, right? Now we have to find the values of a10, a8 and a9. So what will be a10 over here? Or if we will actually put it in this expression, a10 will be equal to alpha raised to the power 10 minus beta raised to the power 10 minus a8 will be equal to alpha raised to the power 8 minus beta raised to the power 8, the whole divided by 1011. 0.5 a n will be equal to what guys alpha raised to the a 9 will be equal to what alpha raised to the power 9 minus beta raised to the power 9. I hope you understood this. Now basically we, we cannot find alpha and beta separately and if we will try to simplify this thing it will take too much of time. So that we can do from the actual equation itself. Can we do it from here guys you see if I take this equation and suppose because alpha and beta are the roots of this quadratic equation, can I not put in place of x, we can put alpha. So this is alpha square minus 2023 alpha minus 2 that is equal to 0. Can I say that guys? I hope you got that, right? Now can I multiply on both the sides of this equation by alpha raised to the power 8? Because I want a relation between a10, A8 and A9, I mean basically alpha raised to the power 10, alpha raised to the power 8 and alpha raised to the power 9. So can I multiply on both the sides of this equation by alpha raised to the power 8? So if I multiply, what will I get guys? I'll get alpha raised to the power 10 minus 2023 alpha raised to the power 9 minus 2 alpha raised to the power 8 and on the other side you'll get 0 only because 0 into alpha raised to the power 8 will be equal to 0 only. I hope you got this logic. So from here can I not say guys that alpha raised to the power 10 we can write to be equal to 2023 alpha raised to the power 9 plus 2 into alpha raised to the power 8. I hope you got this logic. In the same manner can I not say that beta raised to the power 10 will be equal to 2023 beta raised to the power 9 plus 2 into beta raised to the power 8. I hope this thing is clear. Now we have to find the value of this expression over here. So what we can do in place of alpha raised to the power 10 and beta raised to the power 10, we can put these things guys. So let's do it over here. So basically uh, this was what guys? This was alpha raised to the power 10 minus beta raised to the power 10 minus 2 into alpha raised to the power 8 minus beta raised to the power 8. The whole divided by 1011.5 alpha raised to the power 9 minus beta raised to the power 9. Now what was the value of alpha raised to the power 10 guys? So alpha raised to the power 10 is 2023 alpha raised to the power 9 plus 2 into alpha raised to the power 8. So this is basically 2023 alpha raised to the power 9 plus 2 alpha raised to the power 8. In the same manner if I put it over here minus 
this will be 2023 beta raised to the power 9 plus 2 into beta raised to the power 8. I hope this thing is clear, right? Now, let it be like this only 2 into alpha raised to the power 8 minus beta raised to the power 8. And the whole is divided by 1011.5 into alpha raised to the power 9 minus beta raised to the power 9. I hope this thing is clear up till here. Now what I will try, I will try to open up the brackets in the numerator and then we will be simplifying. So uh, I am not going it on the next slide guys because then it will be confusing for you. Let us do it over here only. 2023 alpha raised to the power 9 plus 2 into alpha raised to the power 8 and if I open up the bracket we will get minus 2023 beta raised to the power 9 and then you will get minus 2 beta raised to the power 8 and if I open up the bracket I will get minus 2 into alpha raised to the power 8 plus 2 into beta raised to the power 8 and this whole thing is divided by 1011.5 into alpha raised to the power 9 minus beta raised to the power 9. So let us simplify this thing over here guys. So you see over here 2 alpha raised to the power 8 minus 2 alpha raised to the power 8. You see minus 2 beta raised to the power 8 plus 2 beta raised to the power 8. So these things will get cancelled out. So we are left with 2023 alpha raised to the power 9 minus 2023 beta raised to the power 9. The whole divided by 1011.5 alpha raised to the power 9 minus beta raised to the power 9. So basically we can take 2023 as common in the numerator. So what we will get over here guys? If I take 2023 as common, so I'll be getting 2023 into alpha raised to the power 9 minus beta raised to the power 9 and in the denominator it was 1011.5 into alpha raised to the power 9 minus beta raised to the power 9. So basically what will happen? This will get cancelled out. I hope you got it. So therefore this is the answer 2023 divided by 1011.5. And basically 2023 is nothing but 2 times of 1011.5. The value was fixed like that only. Therefore, the answer is equal to 2. I hope you got the solution to this question.